Now, while on a midnight stroll last night, okay, uh, me and Joan was happened to be, you know, driving down the street and she looked up while sitting at a traffic light and she saw this flaming looking piece of fire just moving through the sky. I happened to get a small portion of video of it. You know, it was uh, only like 13 seconds, okay? But it was nevertheless amazing, all right? Um, I'm sure that this wasn't any sort of aircraft that we're used to seeing, like planes or helicopters or anything like that. And when you see this video, you'll understand why I say that. More than likely that this was some sort of uh, <clears throat> what is regarded as a UFO or a chariot or what have you. Myself, I do believe that is it is of the latter, okay? A chariot of who? I really don't know. But if I had to guess, I would say maybe that wicked one himself. Because <clears throat> he comes down knowing that he has but a short time. He comes down with great wrath, okay? Knowing that he has but a short time, all right? to seek and devour who he may, all right? This is not the one that we're to be looking for to come get us, he's not. And it also explains all the other up and coming events marked by his flunkies, a la the president himself and his evil agenda, all right? Now, I want to show you guys this uh, 13 minute, well, no, 13 second clip. I may let it run probably about, I might do it probably about three times just so you may, you know, you can see a little bit better. Then I want to show you guys what I believe to be a portal opening up, okay? And then we're going to talk about the guys, the guy that uh, some of you put in the office, all right? Check this out. Check out that family. Look at that. Look at that. Check that out. Check out that family. Look at that. Look at that. Check that out. Check out that family. Look at that. Look at that. Check that out. What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this nice, beautiful Friday. I'm doing real good myself. Uh, Shabbat Shalom to all the brothers and sisters in recognition to observing this day for worshiping the Most High. Sundown this evening to sundown tomorrow evening. Let's get some rest, worship, and praise in my people. We definitely need it. We need to do these things, okay? It is very important that we do, okay? Okay, that particular video that I just showed you guys was a video that I did back in July, okay? July 30th, as a matter of fact, when me and Joan was uh, on our way home one night, you know, on a little midnight stroll, what have you. And looked up in the sky and saw what we saw. All right. Which we know was some kind of what is said to be a UFO. Okay. Turns out. <laughs> yeah. Possible UFO spotted in sky over rural Indiana town. Okay. Now we don't live in the rural parts of Indiana. Okay. We're over here in Fort Wayne right in the, you know, city for the most part. We saw this same thing that I did the video on in the city. Now, this same particular situation has been spotted in rural part of Indiana. Okay. Now, we're going to go through this short article. And when we, after we do that, we're going to compare their sighting with our sighting. And then you'll see. What we saw that night and what I made the video of basically looks like the same thing that the video is about on this particular sighting by someone else, okay? And let's get into this story. Uh, 
Are we alone in the universe? It's hard to believe we could be the only intelligent life from to life, life form to existent. You know, exist rather. Uh, the universe is so vast. Odds are we do have neighbors somewhere out there in the stars. Some of these people are so dense with stupidity because <laughs> they forget we was made and put here. We were made, okay? And it took a much, much higher power to do that. So there's no question about are we alone in the universe, all right? <laughs> now, let's continue. Uh, if you love the thought of UFOs making trips to observe Earth, you really need to watch the Netflix series Top Secret UFO Projects Declassified. It is, it is so good. Here's how Netflix describes it. We don't particularly care about that, okay? But it goes here and say, though claims of extraterrestrial encounters have long been dismissed, many believe existence of UFOs is not just likely, but a certainty. That's right. We're going to go past that, though, so we can get down to the video, okay? What is the new official term for a UFO? The term UFO standing for unidentified flying object has been around for decades. But in light of recent government classified UFOs case file being released, we are now supposed to refer to them as UAP or unidentified aerial phenomena. It makes no difference what y'all want to call them. You understand what I'm saying? But whatever. To continue, whatever you call them, the thought of actual spotting one in the sky is still very exciting to many people. Uh, there has actually been a spike in UFO reports in 2021. Maybe it's because they are easy to report or maybe it's because it's more accepting by others to believe you have spotted a UFO. Either way, for people like me who love the photo, well, the, who love the photos of, and videos of possible sightings, the more the, more the merrier. Okay. Okay. This is his video. Wait till y'all see this. Goes on to say here though, uh, a couple that I went to school with uh, were outside enjoying a beautiful night outside when they spotted this strange light in the sky. And I'm telling you people, it's basically the same thing we saw. You know, um, rather you believe this is a UAP or not, uh, you have to admit it would be pretty cool if it actually was what it looks like it might be. All right. Uh, here it is right here. Hang on a second. Oh, it's just going and going and going. These are other places where they were spotted. You know, we pretty much don't care about that. But let's just uh, finish this right here. Well, we already did. Let's check their video out. I must first tell y'all, the similarities are so, how can I say, uncanny. You know, it's safe to say that this was the same thing that we saw. Look at this. I'm getting in trouble. Shh, Mom, what is that? I don't know. Let me find out. No. Hang on, hang on, just hang on. Just hang on real quick. That ain't right, dude. No, what do I mean? Nothing wrong. No, just hang on. Hold Somebody on. call Ghostbusters because I just found something. Was that an asteroid or something? No, nope. it's gone. No. Let's see it again. I'm getting in trouble. Shh. Mom, what is that? I don't know. Let's go find out. No. Hang on, hang on, just hang on. Just hang on real quick. That ain't right, dude. No, what do I mean? <laughs> Nothing wrong. No, just hang on. Hold Somebody on. call Ghostbusters because I just found something. Was that an asteroid or something? No, nope. it's gone. No. Yeah. Now, I don't know about y'all, that, but hey, I think that this was pretty much with the same thing that we saw, um, you know, prior, you know, that night, what I'm saying. We saw that night, um, 
on the night we saw it. <laughs> I mean, because I was at a loss for words, you know what I'm saying, just like I still am, because it's like I never thought in a million years that I would see, you know, what is said to be a UFO. And now the very same thing has turned up in this rural part of Indiana. You know, we saw it in the city, you know. It is amazing. I mean, words can't explain just how exciting it was to even see something like that, you know. But before we go, I just want to leave you guys with a scripture. This is Luke chapter 21, verse 28, okay? But what we're going to do is actually start from 25, okay? Look at what this says. I want you guys to understand this. This is actually Luke chapter 20, 21, verse 25. Uh, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity the sea and the roaring and the wave roaring uh 26 men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken and then shall they see the son of man coming in the cloud with power and great glory 28 listen to this the people of the book my people listen and when these things begin to come to pass then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh okay nigh means near to continue 29 and he spake to them a parable behold the fig tree and all the trees 30 when they now shoot forth, ye see and know of your own selves that summer is now nigh at hand. So likewise ye, when ye see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. Did you hear that, people? Look at the things that we are seeing. Okay, that's what this is all about. Okay. The so-called UFOs, all the perplexity of the nations, you know, hurricanes, tornadoes, and earthquakes. You see what I'm saying? All over this world. Okay? It's time to repent, people. Uh, time to get your house in order. Okay? Because we don't have long before... The Most High comes back to deliver us from the hand of the in, the enemy and destroy the enemy. That's all I got on this one. Y'all tell me what y'all think in the comment section about this. This is, you know, a deep one as far as I'm concerned. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.